Hello, this is Zargi with uh, Game Maker University, and this is a tutorial for Game Maker um, for revolving an object around another object, like an asteroid around a planet. So, without further ado, let's uh, test or show a demo of what we need to do. So, as you can see, asteroid revolves around planet, and even if we move the planet, the asteroid will still stay in that orbit. So without further ado, just uh, create a new project, or uh, in your existing game, if, if you already have a game that you're making, um, create two new sprites, call them Planet and Asteroid. Uh, sprite using whatever naming convention you want. I'm using the uh, suffix... Um, with uh, just uh, three letters like that. So let's just uh, load from the default game maker sprites. Um, I'm just gonna load the planet, a planet, and an asteroid. Seems fitting. Okay. Now create two objects. Uh, let's call this one planet dot obj underscore sorry uh, and asteroid object now for the planet object in the step event um, let's add if keyboard check vk left then x plus equals no x minus equals five and this will just allow us to move the plane around if we copy this four times and change the and change it to for the different directional keys uh, for going right we need to add to x and for going up we need to minus y uh, negate x and then going down we need to add to y so that will just allow us to move the planet around and let's add the sprite to the planet just make sure this works and I will be back in one moment okay back and we put that into the room we put the plane object in the room just make sure this works so we can move our planet around now let's work on the asteroid and this is a bit more complicated in the create event add an execute code and then uh, type the following target equals planet obj and that's what you need to put here is the name of the object that you want to the um, the rotator let's call it the rotator to follow and then uh, my speed equals five that's the speed you want it to uh, go around at <laughs> or orbit I should say length equals let's just put that at 128 that's um, the uh, that's the distance you want it to be from the target and then place equals zero that's just something to tell us where on the uh, path it takes it is so we can make it rotate so then uh, add the step event um, and in here type the magical code X equals, uh, not that, target dot X plus length direction X. And what the length direction function does is uh, if you use it, if you add, um, if you use both length directs, mm, wait, wait, I forgot we don't need that in there there we go 
and um, just type inside it length and then comma then place and uh, copy that um, and paste it under here uh, and there you go now using these two things that that's what you really need to make it um, to make it orbit but we also need uh, place plus equals my speed and that will that uh, all those three three lines will make it orbit so if we stop that let's make sure this has a sprite and then add the asteroid to the room click OK then run it and there you go you have an asteroid orbiting a planet um, that's pretty simple you can change the um, the um, length the uh, distance from the planet that the asteroid is at and you can change the speed and you can change even change the object it orbits so yeah, great stuff. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, until next time, I've been Zargi.